Welcome, welcome, legends. It's going to be me, Mr. Rupert, the host of tonight's football live trivia show. In less than one minute, we're going to start, but yet again, let's go through all the main key points for yet another time. As I mentioned previously, trivia show is completely free to participate. Yes, you've heard it completely correct, not a single penny to pay. Just need to show up here in time. Well, there'll be, there'll be 10 statements lined up for you. This time about a football topic. If you manage to catch at least seven of them correctly, you'll be eligible to share that amazing prize pool of the 2,000 US dollars in cash or golden chips. Well, hey, gents, I hope you prepared some snacks. Maybe some smart friend who is really, really into the football is beside you to help you out. As I said, TV show is completely free and completely for fun. Yeah, so, well, as I can say, well, quite a lot of you still are joining in, as I mentioned, so feel free to use the chat as well. So when you answer the question, maybe type in your guess or maybe a little bit of clarification there if you have some. So, well, hey, gents, hope you are ready. Yeah, so let's not waste some, let's hop on to the first statement of tonight straight away, shall we? The first one sounds as following, my gents. Scotland made its uh, debut at the Euro in 1992. Is this statement true or is this statement false? Well, I'm quite affirmative that quite a lot of you are joining there from Scotland. And, well, for those who are into the football, definitely knows this answer straight uh, away. Well, yet again, quite a mixed feeling. Some of you are saying true, some of you are saying false. Ladies and gents, this statement is indeed completely true. Scotland played a total of four times at Euro in 1992, 1996, 2020 and 2024, so including this year as well. Time for the second one, ladies and gents. In the Euro 2000 semi-final, the Dutch national team missed two penalties against the Italians during a regular time. Is this statement true or is this statement false, ladies and gents? So what do you think? So, well, as I said, feel free to drop your guesses, your answers there in chat. So, well, majority are going for the true this time. Ladies and gents, let's find out the answer. Indeed, this statement is completely true. So, Frank de Boer, 39 minutes, and Patrick Kluvert, 62nd minute, missed their penalties. All right, so time for the third, ladies and gents, of the night. It sounds as following. Team re teams received two points for a victory in a group stage of Euro 1996. It's true or false, ladies and gents. Yeah, so for those who are familiar with the data, a little bit of statistics and actively following it up, maybe this interesting fact haven't slipped through your vision. Well, ladies and gents, this statement indeed is completely false. For the first time in Euro history, teams received three points for a victory in a group stage. All right, so time for the fourth one, almost in the middle of the trivia show. Well, let's hop onto it, shall we? Ladies and gents, the fourth one sounds as following. Euro 2016 was the first tournament in which teams could qualify through the UFA National League. Is this statement true or is this statement false, ladies and gents? So what do you think? So, some of you are saying false, some of you are saying true. Yet again, quite a mixed feelings, I would say so. So, the cool is saying this is completely true. Well, hey, gents, well, statement this time is false. In fact, this was Euro 2020. So, well, this happened four years late, hey, gents. Time for the middle one of this trivia show, hey, gents. Hope you're ready. Let's hop on to it. Denmark finished in the third place at Euro 2020. Is this statement true or is this statement false? Well, yet again, a little, little fact about the statistics there. So, well, as I said, really do hope that you're familiar with it. And definitely this question should be an easy deal for your side as well, ladies gents. So, well, majority are saying true in this case. Ladies and gents, this statement indeed is completely true. Denmark and Spain finished in the third place at Euro 2020. 20. Yeah, so, so they're shared the third place this time. All right, so it's time for the sixth one, ladies and gents. Already over the trivia show. So far, so good. Still standing strong, majority of you. Euro 1968 took the place in three Italian cities. Rome, Naples, and Milan. Is this statement true or is this statement false? So what do you think? I'm quite a positive that quite a lot of you are actually joining there from uh, Italy as well. And definitely, maybe, 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 back in the day, Maybe a South that championship with their own eyes. Well, hey, gents, this statement indeed is completely false. In fact, these cities were Rome, Naples, and Florence. Yeah, so it wasn't that Milan. Yeah, so a little, 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 little small detail over there. Time for the seventh one for semi final one. Euro 1988 is the only major tournament of victory for the Netherlands national team. Is this statement true or is this statement false, ladies and gents? So, what do you think? So I mentioned, so feel free to drop your answers there in chat, your guesses. Maybe you have some extra information about the statements. 
So, well, the player 11 is saying this is completely false. Well, this time it's completely true, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, surprisingly, that is the case. Yeah, so the 1988 is the only major tournament, uh, tournament victory for the Netherlands national team. So maybe this year will be the one, though. Down for the 8th one. The Euro 2000 final was held in Belgium and Netherlands and was played at the Amsterdam Arena. Is this statement true or is this statement false, ladies and gentlemen? So, well, I really do hope so that you're familiar with those places, with those facts, yeah, because in this trivia show, there is quite a, quite a, quite a lot of them. Legends, this statement is completely false. The final took the place in Rotterdam at the Feyenoord Stadium, Legends. All right, so time for the ninth one. Yeah, so maybe for some of you final 100 or maybe final 200 points to be eligible to share that amazing prize pool, Legends. Ninth one sounds as following. Histo Stoikov, uh, Stoich, uh, Stoikov scored half of all the goals for the Bulgarian national teams at Euro 1996. Is this statement true or is this statement false? Gabriel is saying this statement is completely true. It's very easy, true. Well, some of you are saying false as well. Legends, this statement is false. Stoikov scored all three goals for Bulgaria. Yeah, so, indeed. Time for the 10th one of tonight, legends. The final statement, the final opportunity to go for those 100 points. Let's hop on to it. The 10th one sells us for Greece became the only team in Euro 2008 not to earn any points. Is this statement true or is this statement false, legends? Well, as you can say from the chat, quite a lot of you are joining there from Greece. Then should be an easy deal from your side as well. Well, absolutely true, says the player 00. Legends, this statement indeed is completely, completely true. Well, congratulations for each and every single one who managed to, to, manages to catch those seven questions completely correctly. You'll be eligible to share an amazing prize pool of the 2,000 US dollars in cash or golden chips. But now you see the pop up there on the screen, so feel free to check out that football roulette like Jace. Yeah, so gain some extra knowledge about the football. Well, stay tuned about the Euro 2024. And of course, catch your favorite numbers in the meantime. Yet again, my name is Mr. Rupert, was the host of tonight's trivia show. You know, maybe see you in a bit, maybe tomorrow, maybe around the corner. But till then, wish you all the best. Our best of luck to you.